Welcome to Loom Diversity Parenting, Navigating Challenges and Fostering Resilience. This is meant to be a guide for parents trying to embrace the unique journey of raising children with limb differences, such as myself. Um, so number one, embracing uniqueness. You want to emphasize the importance of celebrating individuality and cultivating a positive mindset around limb diversity. The child's differences are an integral part of their identity. Two, open communication. Foster an environment of open dialogue, encouraging your child to express their feelings and experiences. Honest conversations build trust and resilience. Three, educational advocacy. Equip yourself with knowledge about your child's specific limb difference. Advocate for inclusive education, ensuring their needs are met to facilitate both learning and social integration. Build confidence. Number four, explore activities that boost your child's self-esteem. Engage them in sports, arts, or hobbies that highlight their strengths, fostering a sense of accomplishment. Number five, peer support networks. Connect with other parents and support groups to share experiences and insights. Building a network provides emotional support and valuable resources. Number six, medical team collaboration. You wanna work closely with healthcare professionals to ensure comprehensive care, regular checkups and consultations contribute to both physical and emotional well-being. Number seven, assistive technology integration. Embrace techno technological advancements to enhance your child's independence. Explore adaptive tools and devices that empower them in a daily activities if necessary. Um, so that means, you know, you want to make your child's life easier, of course, but you don't want to make them feel like they need to conform to what is quote unquote normal to be able to function. You know, especially when they're born with a limb difference. Of course, they're going to be able to adapt because they were born that way. So number eight, resilience through challenges. Acknowledge and discuss challenges openly, emphasizing the importance of resilience. Encourage problem solving skills and perseverance in the face of obstacles, which to me goes hand in hand with, you know, not straight away going to assistive technology. Number nine is cultivating empathy. You want to teach your child the significance of empathy and understanding, fostering a compassionate environment both at home and in their broader social interactions. So remember that limb diversity parenting is a continuous journey of learning, adaptation, and love. By navigating challenges with resilience and compassion, you empower your child to embrace their unique identity and thrive in a supportive community. So those are things I just wanted to share with y'all. I'm probably going to make more videos specifically about my kiddos limb difference um, since that is a part of my day to day life and a part of her everyday life. Um, so if you like, you know, this type of video, and you want to see more of these types of videos, let me know in the comments if you think I need to tweak or change or whatever. So definitely give it a like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. I got to go back to getting my mom on. <laughs>